Here are tackling the big issues facing Congress right now, from tax reform to the fiscal cliff. Uh, these topics will be a part of a special forum being hosted by the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Uh, joining us now uh, on set, former Georgia Senator Sam Nunn, uh, one of the event's organizers and chairman at C. S.I.S. and Martin Feldstein, former Council of Economic Advisors uh, Chairman and Economics Professor at Harvard University. He's also participating in the uh, C.S.I.S. event. And uh, uh, great to see you, Senator. Th thank you for joining us. I, I got to start with uh, uh, Dr. Feldstein. I, I don't know whether you were watching earlier, but we've already been talking about it. You've all kind of been here already in, in, in spirit. Uh, we're talking to uh, Secretary uh, Summers and uh, what I got from him, I, I mentioned your, your, your piece in the journal, uh, Doctor, about uh, maybe if you did get rid of all the deductions, you could make it work, could make it a, a, a revenue, uh, uh, positive revenue enhancer if you were to lower marginal rates and get rid of a, a lot of deductions. And uh, the Secretary's response was you'd have to go down to 100000 uh, for uh, where you'd raise taxes, which he kind of didn't want uh, to, to agree to something like that. It has, it has to be above 250, but above 250, there's not enough money there to do it. Is there? I, I don't get it. I don't see how it works. Well, what I was talking about in that piece in the Wall Street Journal was not the plan that I or anybody else is specifically proposing, but I was answering uh, a study that had claimed that it was impossible, mathematically impossible, for Governor Romney to do the things that he had said, cutting rates and broadening the base. And basically I said, no, that wasn't impossible if you got rid of all the deductions for uh, uh, people with incomes above uh, $100,000. Now, nobody's proposing to do that, but I just wanted to show that the accusation that somehow the Romney campaign uh, had been not telling the truth, uh, that that accusation was false. But I think the basic idea of broadening the tax base is something that really should guide uh, where we go going forward. But and, and the Treasury Secretary then went again to letting the Bush tax cuts expire on those at 250 and above being, a, you know, and, and mentioned the, the good times in the Clinton years, et cetera. But out of the trillion-dollar deficit that, that we're running, what would that do if all we did was go back to 39.6 on on, uh, on on 250 and above? Very little. Very I don't little. get it. There, I, don't, there, I don't get it. Yeah, the real key to dealing with this problem is dealing with the so-called tax expenditures, all those special kinds of really government spending that's built into the tax code. If I buy... Um, hybrid car or a solar panel. The government doesn't write me a check, but it allows me to get a tax deduction. If I get a bigger mortgage, same thing. They don't send me a check, but they reduce my tax bill. So that's really government spending built into the tax code. And that's what Congress is going to have to limit if we want to raise revenue and reduce top tax rates. Senator uh, Nunn, what, what's the answer? Uh, yeah, I know you've got, you've got some ideas, at least. Well, I think we have to start with the problem, and the problem is that we basically do not have uh, simple arithmetic and common sense being applied to America's fiscal challenge. And the fiscal challenge is on the spending side. Uh, we've got to deal with the health care cost increase, and you multiply the cost increases by the huge demographic changes with older people retiring. And you get a first-class line going straight up on health care and entitlements. So that's the fundamental problem. Then the second part of that is, can we do it all on the spending side in terms of getting uh, our fiscal house in order? And the answer to that, in my view, is no. We have to have some revenue to augment that. We're not going to cure this problem with revenue, but revenue has to be a part of it. And then you get to the third challenge, and that is, how do you increase the revenue uh, in the same package, in my view, where you basically get the trajectory down on entitlement programs but increase the revenue in a way that doesn't damage the economy or does the least damage possible, and that means a growth-oriented uh, tax package. And that's why the tax expenditure side that Marty and Larry are both talking about, to me, is the place you ought to start. Now, whether you can finish there or not is another question. 